Hij heeft ooit een opleiding gehad tot acteur. Hij heeft een tijdje in de theaterwereld vertoefd, maar uiteindelijk toch gekozen voor de muziek. En zijn hele leven staat eigenlijk een beetje in het teken van reizen tussen Zweden, waar hij nu weer woont, en New York, de woonplaats van zijn vader. Dus zijn hele leven lang gereisd tussen Stockholm, New York, Stockholm, New York, New York. Hij heeft een goed wereldbeeld. Um, Eagle Eye Cherry was nog het eerste die het festival hier op het hoofdpodium mocht openen. En daar gaan we nu naar kijken. Conversation with the child who once believed in you But how does one explain to him what it is you do? Says, Daddy, Daddy, please tell me it's not true What all the people are saying, saying about you Now there comes a time when one must face the life that you've led And that's a hard thing to do When lies is all that's been said Blameless eyes of an innocent youth Begging for you to tell the truth Such a hard way to learn Such a hard way to learn You gotta learn This moment of truth will learn for life Don't need to turn it out and ride So come now, little boy, don't you cry Cause the child in you is still alive With the child who once believed in you Well, how does one explain to him What it is you do He says, Daddy, Daddy, please Tell me it's not true What all the people are saying Saying about you Now there comes a time When one must face the line That you was led And the child that you is still alive Daddy, Daddy, please Tell me it's not true Cause the moment I'm too good up for life I am This moment I'm too good up for life Don't need to tell you that and ride right. So come now little boy don't you cry Cause the child in you is still alive oh. Moment of truth will let for life. Moment of truth will let for life. Don't need to tell you that ain't right. Don't need to tell you that ain't right. So come now, little boy, don't you cry. Cause the child in you is still alive. The child in you is still alive. The child in you is still alive. Such a hard way to learn. Oh, I'm telling you now. Such a hard way to learn. Oh, such a hard way to learn, boy. Such a hard way to learn. All the time you were still alive. Such a hard way to learn. Oh, that's the only way you're gonna survive. Such a hard way to learn. Such a sad, sad boy now, I'm telling you. Such a hard way to learn. Such a sad, sad boy now.
I lived in Sweden when I was young, and then I moved to New York, and that was fantastic, and I got to go through my teens and do all that fun stuff in New York. Um, but then after a while, I just got kind of tired of the whole vibe, you know, and uh, I met a Swedish girl, fell in love and everything. So I went back to Stockholm and checked it out, and it was a really, really good vibe over there. And I think what basically happened was I just suddenly was in a place that was quiet and calm, and it had a bit of a greenhouse effect, and I just managed to get to work and to start writing songs, you know, and. Uh, one of the first apartments I borrowed there had an acoustic guitar, and that was it. I'd never worked with that instrument before, and once I found that, I was in heaven. Because you used to work as a drummer. Yeah, I was a drummer uh, for years and years, and then um, I started programming at home. I bought some equipment and started sampling it and experimenting with all that stuff. But yeah, it was the acoustic guitar, and that was the one that did it. What, what happened when you just first um, held the acoustic guitar? I guess it was the first time that I felt like my voice felt all right, you know. It was, it was the instrument that made me feel like, okay, this is kind of where I'm at. And, and it's a great instrument to write with. It's, it's like your friend, and you just sit there and hang out with your friend. And suddenly, it inspired me a lot. Yeah, it was cool. Is that when you first started singing? How did you find your, your singing voice? I'd, I'd been messing around a bit. You know, I had my little portable studio. But what I mostly did was wrote and had other like some girl or somebody sing, sing the stuff. But while I was writing the song, I'd sing it. So in my heart, I wanted to sing, but I just wasn't confident enough to do it. You know? But uh, luckily enough, I got over that, and here I am.
such a big part of, of, of who I am and, and I think especially lyrically what I do but I, I need to get out of there to get the perspective it was like I was looking at the painting like this and then suddenly I, I got the, the perspective and I started telling those stories but but also there's some love stories and a couple broken hearts and all that classic record stuff experience some of it yeah some of it is, is uh, personal some of it is just observations you know things that I've seen you see a lot in New York. I mean, that's my love and hate relationship with New York, is that reality is always staring in the face, and usually it's the darker side of reality. But I also like that, because it's really a reminder of that life. You have a pretty good life, because there are a lot of people out there and have it a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me uh, what the song uh, Safe Tonight is about? That's a bit of a bittersweet love song. It's uh, something I think everybody's experienced which is, you know, that last night before you have to go away and you have to leave the person that you love. But I, I think it's kind of, it's a fun song because I really focused on what, what's a perfect night, what makes a good, you know, candlelight, red wine, fireplace. And if, if the evening is perfect, then in turn we can survive this period when we're apart, you know. So, so it's a bit of a celebratory song. But the irony of it all is that the more success the song has, the more my life becomes the song and I'm constantly having to leave my girlfriend having that last night. That's life. <laughs> I wish that I, that I 
I could stay But girl, you know I've got to go uh, Lord, I wish it wasn't so yeah. Hij was vanochtend om kwart over elf al klaar met zijn pingpop verhaal Eagle Eye Cherry. En als laatste hoor je en zag je Safe Tonight. Het is half twee, uh, direct gaat Anouk beginnen. En we hebben het, en dat is op zich een unicum, nog eens over het weer gehad. Maar het weer 